Uh, DBA Matt says, if there was a new Mount Rushmore with the heads of SQL pros who've greatly impacted the world, who would you want to see up there? So my answer is going to be different than I think what most people would answer. Most people will answer the names of bloggers and presenters, individuals that they see frequently. So you usually see, uh, I'm having to adjust the camera lock because I reset up my home office when I got back here after China because I took a lot of my camera gear with me and one of my cameras was stolen. It sucks. It's a brand new, like three thousand dollar camera with a two thousand dollar lens attached. I was not a happy camper about that. Um, but so what you usually see is individuals uh, who make contributions, whether it's via blog posts or via uh, online videos or social media or LinkedIn, whatever. But there's a whole class of people who do unbelievable work to make the community run smoothly. And I'm talking about people who volunteer, who organize local events, regional events, that kind of thing, uh, who really bust their humps to make sure that y'all get free educational material. Uh, and the, most of their names you haven't heard. And the, the reason why I say that is that one of them just retired, Kathy Kellenberger, both her first and last names start with a K. Kathy Kellenberger uh, just retired after decades of service to the SQL Server community. She volunteered for the longest time doing all kinds of event stuff around pass, helping make sure that events run smoothly. And you would never see her name or, or know her by sight unless you were one of the contributors. Like if you're a speaker, an author, or whatever, you would have known Kathy. Um, and so she's got you know, dozens, hundreds of messages on her LinkedIn profile talking, you know, congratulating her on her retirement last week. Um, so it, it, if there was a, a Mount Rushmore, it's a shame that it, you would want it to be giant because there are so many people who have dedicated their lives. Um, not, and they weren't building consulting brands or training brands. They were just doing it for purely for the love of the community. Um, and I would love to see folks like that celebrated more uh, as opposed to just me.